So I've been meaning to talk about this book. Um, and it's a book that, like a lot of books I just, you know, donate or I um, give away um, or sell. Um, but this book, like, I was like, oh, I have to keep this book. Um, and it's, it's fascinating because it's like a book about anatomy of animals. And it would be really great for anyone who's uh, learning to draw or, or an artist um, that wants to draw more realistically. Um, or for anyone who's interested in animals, um, anyone who goes to the Museum of Natural History and is fascinated by the skeletons. And so this is by Jules Howard, illustrated by Chevelle Fryer, and it's Bones, and it's an inside look at the animal kingdom. And it came to mind more be uh, also because my daughter is a freshman at RISD, and like one of the first things that they do in sort of their um, drawing class is they bust out the human skeleton um, and they have them draw that as well as the human skulls as sort of a foundation for learning how to draw the body. It's like you start with the, the skeleton and then you learn how the muscles lay over that and then it helps you draw, you know, uh, the human figure more accurately. And so this is a book to, that does the same thing but for animals. So also kids who are interested in animation a drawing animation or cartooning this also would be you know sort of like a fun book to read but also something you'd keep because you can always reference it and so here are some of the animals that we will be exploring and it's kind of like um they do it by by motion you know so like how the animal moves um digging swimming running holding weight um and then it's kind of like very dramatic, like the the white on the black, which I really like also. But there's a lot of text and it kind of shows you the skeletal, um, you know, basis for why that animal looks that way. Um, but it also gives you like, it's not just for artists, but it gives you like the information about the animal. Um, here's like bones versus cartilage and, you know, so like scientists as well. I, I guess future um, any kind of paleontologist or um, biologist um, would find this book fascinating. But it's sort of like art meets science, um, but so beautifully done that you can really just, you know, like you can really just focus on one page, a particular animal. You can sort of, you know, read through it, um, you know, a page a night, like for bedtime stories. And even though this book is... The age of seven to ten like like my son he had like a very intense dinosaur phase that lasted his entire an entire year when he was three years old and and frankly never really um he never really graduated from his interest in dinosaurs but we ended up reading even adult um non-fiction books um because like he was just sort of hungry for information and so if, if you have a child who maybe is interested in a particular animal or just likes animals and nature in general, uh, you could read this at a much younger age, uh, preschool. You don't have to read all the words, but you can like look at the pictures and read certain, certain, certain parts of it that are interesting to that child or, um, or the entire thing if it's an animal that they're interested in. And even you could use it as a sort of um, jumping off point for kids who are interested in, in drawing animals because it's it's a lot since since these aren't photographs these are actual art illustrations even copying it will teach kids a lot about um you know how to how to draw the animal figure how to how to execute the the skeleton just by copying you can even trace it um but i like how it's just like there's just so much it's, it's not dry you know what i mean this is like a book that is really very vibrant with a lot of information, a lot of different ways it can be used. And I don't know, I, even the cover, like there's just like, the thing about Candlewick Press is they, like they do books with such love and there's such attention to detail that even the cover, um, which you can't see, but it's embossed. And so just from a tactile point of view, you can feel the raised letters. You can see how, you know, the title is shiny. Um, the bones themselves um, are raised, you know, and it just, 
versus like the animal. So you see the animal here, the tail slightly embossed, but then you feel the skeleton. It, it, there's just something that's always so special um, to explore and to learn and to discover that makes the book just a really rich reading experience. Um, and so I highly recommend these two books um, and perhaps you can get them from your library. Um, hopefully your library is open or will open soon. Mine's still open, still closed, but um, anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you hope you enjoy this book as much as I do. Okay, thank you.